We have some people here that they are new in 3D printing and maybe they haven't got their new 3D printer yet but they are thinking about it to get something, something in a budget. So you're not gonna start with a complicated project like this. You will start with something easy, something functional. Then after that, you will need affordable printer. And for that, I have something. Which there are a few reasons that I chose this one if you are a beginner. But it has some great feature in that printer. So let's take this one. This is the lightest printer I ever got. Yeah, you can hold it with one hand. So this is a new multicolor printing by Flashforge. They reached out to me and I wanted to make a review about it. And for you guys, we have some people, they are new. And this will be a great option. And I will show you why I choose this one. So let's get it open and see what we have. So this is Flashforge's 85X multicolor printing. It's the same style, just like X1C and H2D. It has that cage, but it's not enclosed. But there are so many rooms to upgrade it and do all that things so that's why I wanted to choose this one so let's open it and see what comes with the package all right that's the whole printer you're gonna take this phone this one we have the manuals here just a manual this is the booklet thank you card okay that's pretty much it so let's take this so if you are a total beginner you have everything you need you have a side cutter you have the allen keys this is for the filament when the filament gets stuck in the hot end you will push it with this that's cool you have a screwdriver and three allen keys that's all we have for now. We have the cable. This is the main cable. We will take this foam out. So this is the multicolor printing head and the spool holders. Here is the sample for multicoloring. Okay, this is the multicoloring unit. So we will need this. We will put this here. Now we will take these foams out. Okay. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove these bolts and put the screen in 30 degrees, which it will slide in here. So let's do that. And I'm not gonna be using my tools. I will be using these tools. Let's say you are a total beginner and you don't have any tools, just these that they came with the printer. So let's do it. Okay, it doesn't need any screws, it just locks in place. So that's it for this. Next, we have this cable, which it will be connected multicoloring unit with the printer, just like the wire with the AMS and Bamboo Lab printers. So we're gonna... Turn it. And for the cable management, they also give you this small clip with two screws and it will hold this wire here. All right, now we're gonna turn it. We have the spool holders, we're gonna put them on. And they also have their numbers. I don't know if it makes difference if you mix them, but we're gonna put them just like the numbers. They also have that spring mechanism. I believe it's for retraction. So when it's changing color or something, it will retract the filament. So it doesn't give you that stringing, which is a nice idea. And for putting it on, you're just gonna slide it in. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Alright, there is one important thing. 
Now we have to remove the screws for the build plate. And here's the build plate. That's nice. They give you something to hold it on. It's 220 by 220 by 220 millimeter. But yeah, now we're gonna remove the screws. So we have three Allen keys, one here, one here, and one here. We're gonna remove them and then this build plate will be moving. So make sure you are removing these before turning the printer on. It's a great idea they are doing this for shipping. It will be solid and not gonna be moving. All right, before turning it on, I realized that these rods are dry and doesn't have any grease on it. So it comes with the grease and now we're gonna put them on and then we're gonna put the cable and turn it on. And the grease is on, you don't have to go crazy about it. Just put some and it will distribute it while we are moving it or while printing. So now, we're gonna put the cable. All right, the application QR code didn't work. I had to download it from their website. Now it's downloaded and I will install it now. So now it's doing this thing. So now I'm just putting the spools on. I'm not loading the filament till it finishes thing. But yeah, now here's the last one. Now it's doing the belt leveling. After it finishes, I will load the filaments. All right, it's done. Now it's asking us to load the filaments. Now I'm gonna do it one by one. So now we have to say, which roll is which material? It's PLA, it's blue. So one of the things I chose this printer and wanted to make a video about it, it's changing the nozzle, which is really easy. So if you wanna change the nozzle, you're just gonna lift this, it's magnetic, and here is the nozzle, you're gonna remove this. Now we, here is the nozzle and here is the lock and this is magnetic. So we're gonna release the lock and open this magnetic, the nozzle comes out. And for putting it back, you're gonna put it back, it's magnetic holding it, this one holding it, and then this will lock it. Now we're gonna put the rubber. Next, the cover. Okay, now we are doing the test print that the file comes with it. There are so many files over there, but the smallest one was this one. I don't want to spend too much filament on these things. I have a project in mind, which I will show you in a minute. But for the first line, it was very good. And now it's doing the final line and then color changing. So for the slicer, I had to download it from the website, it's Orca Slicer. So now I download it and I put the same email and now it's connected. There are so much room for upgrading this printer. You can buy the panels and make it enclosure if you are printing with high temperature materials and you can put camera so we can watch it over there or your phone. And also the nozzle swapping is very easy. That's why I was recommending this printer. The price is very good if you wanna start with it and then you can upgrade it later. All right, it's done. Here's how it looks. I think it did a very good job. The top surface needs a bit of work, but overall, it's very good. Now we're gonna put it under a real test. So after setting it up and test printing, we know everything works good. So now we're gonna choose a project and we're gonna print it entirely on this printer. So I was browsing on Maker World and I found this BMW M4 by Cormango, which he did really good job with the design. And he also has RC version and also display version. We will print the display version first. If you guys liked it, we're gonna be printing the RC version. So I'm gonna print the body in blue color and the chassis will be just like this black and gray here is the body pieces and all the pieces are small so we can use this printer to print all the parts 
and then we're gonna be gluing it together we're gonna go to software and orca flash forge and here you have so many options if you are using mac or windows all right here is the slicer it looks like bamboo lab slicer which is really easy now we're gonna import the files here okay here is the panels i organized some of the colors and also put these in black and this is the blue i'm using so with starting we're gonna start with front fenders and here are the front fenders we're gonna put them apart a bit support we're gonna give them support because we have overhang and with support use tree auto support always it's the best option so now we're gonna slice it and you don't have to change anything here all right here's the sliced file it will take two hours 27 minutes 28 grams so now we're gonna send it we send the files to the printer now we're gonna wait till it warms up and then it will start All right, it's been five days. The printer been working without stopping and I had no failed print whatsoever. And here are all the parts for this car, including the body panel and also the chassis, which we're gonna be assembling everything now. I don't think we will need to paint this. It's already looking good. And I used 0.12 millimeter layer height and it came out really good. And for the chassis, I used 0.2, which is really good. And for multicoloring, here's the multicoloring. For multicoloring, it uses too much of filament and wasting filament, but this is the result you will get. I did that for the tail light and also the headlight, which the headlight came out really good. Now we're gonna put it together. So he did a really good job with making a video how to assemble all that. I will make sure to put the video in the video description box below. So you can check it out so this is the video he made he also made so many other models but i'm gonna be watching this video and assemble that and for assembling it only uses glue for the body and for the chassis it uses i believe m3 bolts and you can find the files in the video description box below
all right we are done with this one and it came out really good i really like the color and i'm not gonna paint it i will leave it like this and this is the color i used skydiver it also came with the printer and i'm thinking to find something else to use this one and yeah let me guys know what i use for this one all right so let's talk about the printer so flash force 85x works really well the only downside with this printer is the build volume but if you have a project like this and it's being cut for small section, you're not gonna have a problem with this. But there's something else you should know about this printer. You also have a cartridges for the filter. You have one here and one here. Right now it's empty. But you can upgrade this printer and buy the panels, the filter, and also the camera. And it will be very good. So what do we think about Flash Forges 85X? I mean it looks good I was using it for five days without stopping for printing all these panels one thing you should know even if you are not using multicoloring option so when you are using one filament and it runs out it will switch it to another one so let's say I'm printing the panels only with black and one filament will run out and it will switch it to another one right away without stopping so even if you're not home it will switch it and you're not gonna come home with running out filament so if you are starting with 3D printing, this is a good option for you. I will make sure to put it in the video description box below so you can check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this little project. I will make sure to put the file also in the video description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.